Hey guys, welcome back to RC311 Studios where we do RC product reviews and once a week we give one lucky subscriber the chance to win the product that we're reviewing. Today we're going to do the Rastar La Ferrari. Guys, if you're not familiar with the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also guys, hit the notification bell. This will notify you when I'm uploading or when I've uploaded new videos to YouTube. Guys, also give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you enjoy the video and comments in the comments box below. Right, today we're bringing to you the Rastar LaFerrari and it's a 114th scale. Recommended age is six plus years of age. We actually got this in the sale. We got this and two other products by Rastar that were 50% discounted. That's on the build up to Christmas. Tesco's always do it. So if you're in the UK, check out their discounted um, offers on the toys. We just looked at the RC products because this is what we do. That will be running until the 3rd of November. It's not a paid promotion. We walked in there, grabbed a few products and thought it'd be great to review, bring the review to you guys before you bought them yourselves. Only downside I can see so far with this product is it's 27 megahertz, so you may get some interference. All it actually requires to run the vehicle is seven AA batteries. Five in the car and two in the hand controller. And as you can see, the Rastar products are always very detailed. Uh, detailed little hand controller and, and the actual Ferrari, LaFerrari itself is extremely detailed. With the doors opening, and we've also got um, the lights. When you actually move forwards, the headlights come on, and when you reverse, the tail lights come on. So great little add-on functions. With the doors, what I've heard in the past, when you do push them down, make sure that they click and lock into position, because otherwise, if you drive away, they will pop open on their own. It's not a fault with the actual car, it's just that you need to click these into place and make sure it's clicked so they're locked. They're actually locked in. Functions are forwards, left and right, reverse left and right, with the additionals, additional functions of the doors, headlights, and tail lights. As you can see, this product is actually licensed by Ferrari themselves. So note the reason why the product is extremely detailed. What we will do, as we normally do, we'll do a test, we'll do a review, bring that to you later on, and obviously of the vehicle running itself. Guys, we will do a quick unboxing, but like I've said before, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell, comments in the comments box below, and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you enjoyed the video. Right guys, let's get straight into an unboxing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> Right guys, after that quick unboxing, what you actually get in the box is obviously the model itself, the LaFerrari. Looks like a very detailed car, like I said before. You've got your little discs, disc calipers, and even the wheel nuts got the little Ferrari emblem on the front. It's all detailed with the Ferrari badges over on the doors, even on the, um, on the seats, even on the steering wheel. So, looks extremely detailed. Um, the doors themselves, don't forget, push them down and then push them in so they click in. Make sure that they click in. There's a little tab on the inside of the door and it actually pushes into the body. So make sure they're both clipped in. Okay, so the functions of the car, forwards, left and right, and backwards, left and right. And then they're saying when the car is going forwards, the, the lights will come on. And the same with the tail lights when it's reversing. As far as the car itself, um, you've got obviously a battery cover that slides down and it'll pop open. Let's just drop in five AA batteries. New batteries, so you don't hamper the performance of the vehicle. Pop those straight in. Close up that and push it back so it clicks, clips, and they've got a little tab on this one. So instead of it being a, a little screw, just turn that tab up and what it does, is it actually holds the battery cover in place. Nice and sturdy, your on off switch, your trims for the wheels, if it's pulling to the right, trim it to the left and vice versa. So that's the car. Tires are rubber, so it should be quite good getting over all the little obstacles. Also, you get the hand controller. This requires the aerial to improve the signal. That also extends for further improvement on, um, on the actual signal from the hand controller to the car itself. So we'll push that down because we're there's no need to have it extended at this point in time. And it just screws into that actual hand controller itself. We'll move that away because we don't need it. It's probably a little instruction manual. The back of the hand controller, battery cover pops open. Two brand new AA batteries pop straight into the hand controller. 
and that guys is pretty much it. There's no on off switch on the hand controller. That will just make contact with the car once the car's on, which we will do now. Let's turn it on. I'll just test it forwards. It's only two wheel drive and backwards. But if you see the lights, you can see the lights are working when it's moving forwards and then backwards, the tail lights come on. Right guys, we'll bring you some action and let you know what surfaces the vehicle can be ran on. And um, yeah, we'll get straight to it. Right guys, that brings us to the end of the review. As far as the car itself, it's extremely well detailed. As far as the functions, it functioned extremely well, had a great turn in circle. The only time we came up against any problems was due to the fact it was at 27 megahertz, so we ran some interference uh, when we, my son tried to run it behind a wall and then bring it back and it lost signal. So do take that into consideration. It's not 2.4, so you may get some interference, um, especially from obstructions where it obstructs the signal. Guys, on the upshot, rubber tires made it great to run outdoors, cleared all the debris. Um, another downside was only that it was two-wheel drive, so it could get caught up on a few little sticks or stones, um, depending on where you're running it. Indoors, it was exceptional, and also on the carpet, it still ran pretty good. And like I said, it had quite a good turning circle on it. So even in a small area, it was still very much user-friendly. Only downside I had was my big thumbs got in the way on that small little hand controller, where my son of four was very happy at home with a hand controller and probably actually drove it better than I did. Guys, if you need any more info on the product itself, leave your comments in the comments box below and please catch me on the next product giveaway and product review. Take care, guys.